Hello guys, this is Nick from Teesprop. In this video we continue speaking about the abrasive materials and if you haven't seen the first two, you can find them above. I really recommend you watching them. So today I would like to tell you a little bit more about silicon carbide, which is widely used in sharpening and give you a better view of pros and cons of stones based on silicon carbide. Let's dive into it. Silicon carbide, or it's also called carburantum, is a synthetic material corresponding in composition and properties to natural mineral moissanite. It's an organic binary compound of silicon and carbon. It is a colorless crystal with a luster in its pure form. And in the pure of technical product, it can acquire a different color. Due to the insignificant presence in nature, the material is most often obtained synthetically. The main raw materials of silicon carbide are quartz sand and petroleum coke. They are fused in the fusion furnaces and then green and black silicon carbide come to milling and after go through the classification stage, where they are cleansed from sludge by funeral air classification and sieving. Then after it is treated and separated, silicon carbide is ready to use. According to the more harder scale, silicon carbide is second in hardness only to diamond, which makes it an excellent abrasive material. In most cases, stones made of silicon carbide have a soft bond of abrasive grains and should be soaked in water for 5-10 minutes before work. But there are some exceptions. Some stones may have different bonds and work with oil and do not require soaking. One of the biggest advantages of silicon carbide stones is that they are quite multitasking and versatile. So they can be applied to any type of steels, unlike diamonds or aluminum oxide. Silicon carbide grains have sharp edges, which has positive effect on the speed of steel removal. Moreover, uh, its grain is prone to crushing, splitting, and this contributes to formation of new sharp edges. In combination with soft bond, where old used grains break out, exposing new sharp ones, this gives a good effect of the grain renewal and have a positive effect on the sharpening speed of high alloy hard steels. One more specific thing is that silicon carbide works with a suspension that produces itself, unlike diamonds or aluminum oxide, which work with roughness of grains, bond softens or dissolves, and thus it renews itself. However, such speed of work leads to rather rapid wear of stone, loss of its flatness. So you will need to flatten stones more often. And this is a negative point of this kind of material. They're not so durable in comparison with other stones, because after two free knives, you will need to level them. There is nothing wrong with this, but as a fact, there is a place to be. One more disadvantage why many of us don't prefer using them, I can say that sharpening with silicon carbide stones is quite a dirty work. You have to always keep them wet, so the suspension remains on the blade and pollutes the workspace everywhere. And moreover, suspension can accumulate on the secondary bevels and uh, um, as a result, micro scratches may appear on it, which is hardly possible to correct at finishing and which is dangerous for expensive knives. So it negatively affects the, their appearance. That's it. If you have silicon carbide stones, we will be happy to know in the comments which ones you are using for your knives. If you have anything to add to this video on this subject, just let us, let us know in the comments as well. So guys, don't forget to put your likes, subscribe to our channel for more upcoming videos. So, and next time we're going to be talking about diamonds. So stay, stay tuned, take care and stay sharp.